It is called Dirgha Pranava Uchcharana, which literally means prolonged Om chanting. But the, the meaning of this meditation, it has, it has great depth. And the aim of this meditation is to calm the mind and center it in our real self, in who or what we really are. There's an initial mindset which is required before you go into this meditation. So we will do that mindset first. What we need to do is, as you have come into this, this um, shrine, imagine now, you have left at the door, left outside, all your worldly concerns, relationships outside the door, health problems outside the door, financial problems outside the door, not just problems, expectations, um, you know, this thing will happen, that thing will happen, all outside the door. You have not walked in with them. Even the physical identity, man, woman, white, brown, black, outside the door. That means I'm not bringing it in my mind here. Here I come, I sit, the bare awareness bear awareness that I am. Imagine what I am, what you are, if all the relationship problems are not, if the physical problems, if the financial problems, all of them are not there. Without that, what am I? Without the body, what am I? Without even thoughts, memories, ideas, just the bare awareness, I come here. Now this, this is the mindset with which we enter into the Om chanting meditation. The Om, the meaning of Om, Om has three letters in it, A, U and M. Together it becomes Om. What does it mean? The three letters stand for the three states of our, of our being. We have a waking state, a dream state, and a deep sleep state. Normally these three covered our entire experience of life. The first letter, A, stands for I, the waker, and my waking world, both of them. You, the waker, and your entire waking world. The second letter, the middle letter, U, stands for you, the dreamer, what you are in your dreams, in your dream experience, and your dream world. Which dream world? All dream worlds. The dream, the worlds of our dreams, and I, the dreamer, the subject and the object in the dream. And then imagine the deep sleep when you are Im immersed in deep sleep, you have ex no experience of subject or object. In fact, it's a blankness. That blankness of deep sleep, that is, the, that is what is experienced in deep sleep. The subject and the object in deep sleep both merged into one. That is the meaning of the letter M or M. And the silence which follows Om points to the bare awareness, the fourth, the Turiya, the real self. That bare awareness in which appears the waker and the waker's world, in which appears the dreamer and the dreamer's world, in which appears the, the merged subject and object blankness of deep sleep, and which in itself is the real you. So the meaning of Om is waking, dreaming, deep sleep experiences and more importantly, the real you, the, the consciousness, the awareness in which all of this entirety of our life's drama is being played. That consciousness, that unchanging awareness, that immortal light, not within you, which you are, that is the real meaning of Om. 
I am that awareness which in itself is neither the waker nor the dreamer nor the deep sleeper, but in which the waker and the waker's world, the dreamer and the dream worlds, and the deep sleep darkness all appear and disappear. That one consciousness I am, forever free of suffering, of desire and hope and despair, free of all of that, ever at peace. That one consciousness I am. This is the meaning of Om. Merge your mind in the sound of the Om first. And after the tenth time, we will sit quietly contemplating that meaning of Om, that I am, that bare awareness, ever at peace. First, when we chant Om ten times, need not think of all this philosophy, just keep the mind merged in the sound of Om. Please chant with me. Om.
this thinking of ourselves as bare awareness. It's very powerful, it's very cleansing, it's very freeing. Don't come into the shrine, into the temple. Don't come there as, don't go, go in front of God as a mother or a father or a son or daughter. Don't go in there as a corporate executive with job problems. Don't go in there as a patient with health problems. All those identities let us leave outside the door of the shrine. And when I go in front of my Lord, I go there because I love thee, my Lord. That's all I have come here for. I don't want anything. I am here because I love you. This is my attitude to God. That I have come to you because I love thee. Not because I want anything. I leave all those things outside when I come to you. You'll see a new, deeper dimension of bhakti. An immediate peace of mind. An immediate joy and purity. Immediately it comes. feel like it, you can gently open your eyes. Don't look up immediately. You can look dan down at your lap, at your hands. When you are comfortable, you can slowly look up. <laughs> 